Hi, everybody. So this is going to be a fairly casual kind of um, overview of the four achievements for Tank Slam. Um, I noticed that there's a lot of comments in the discussion boards on Steam that are mostly questions about why some of the achievements aren't tracking properly. And there's a couple theories as to why that is. If you are familiar with achievements that have like a tracking bar, um, the achievements for this game do not. And all of them are kind of kill oriented. So you have to get 50 kills for something, 100 kills for another thing in specific ways. Now, one of the theories that I had was, um, so let's go down the list here. The commander achievement is 100 kills overall. doesn't matter how you kill them. You just 100 enemies, you have to kill them over the course of, of, a, of a game. And you can do that between the single player or the level editor. And the level editor is actually um, one of the most useful tools for unlocking some of the tricky achievements. So let's go down to the next one. Um, we have the, the rundown achievement that's getting 50 kills with um, running them over. Um, it's actually, I think the achievement is actually called under, under my wheels, but it's called, it's in the icon it shows as a rundown. The bouncer achievement is 50 kills by ricocheting a shot off of a wall. And then that shot after ricocheting kills an enemy. Uh, it actually has to kill the enemy. So soldiers are probably better for that because usually soldiers only take one shot. And then the long shot are 100 long range kills. Now this is probably the one that gives people the most trouble. So uh, I'm gonna set my pen down and um, I'm gonna show you how to create a level. I'm just going to, I, mean, I guess we could do a large one. We'll just create one. Um, after I close out of the game, I'm having trouble actually like launching the very levels that I have already pre-made. So we'll just zoom out here. Um, and in the guide, I have pictures of this. Um, what I did was I took the, the block here, the block wall. I made it indestructible by clicking that little button there. And you can create like just like a bar. Oops, sorry, my drawing ability is fairly limited apparently. Um, and then just like making it a really narrow like kind of channel. And you just make, want to make like a tunnel kill box for how you um, like want to target um, your enemies from like the front um, when you put your spawn point down. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I, my drawing capabilities are really bad. Um, oh my lord. So this will be nine minutes of the... Um, no, I'm, I'm kidding. Um, so you'll, you'll make it like this. I probably made it a little more narrow than I did in the, um, the picture on Steam. Uh, for the guide. And then you just want to make it like that. Um, the reason we make the walls here uh, indestructible, there we go. Okay, that should be long enough. But the reason that we make the walls um, indestructible, and we'll take like a regular city wall here. Um, that way we can just run through that, but the, all the walls are indestructible. But the reason we make them indestructible is so that the shot bounces off the wall excuse me, the shot bounces off the wall and doesn't destroy the walls. So that way they just bounce as often as they can. And as long as it bounce, bounces once, it'll kill a soldier. Or sorry, as long as it bounces once and then kills a soldier, it'll be fine. Now there is an option to do a spawner here. So basically you could create this, make it really long, put a spawner at the very end, and then just set the frequency to the spawn rate of the enemies. And obviously if they continue to spawn and you just aim at the spawner, you can just completely continuously mow them down until the achievement is yours. Um, now you have to have the bounce ability. That is, I'm sorry, you want to shoot them from as long range as possible to get the long shot achievement. But for the bounce shot, you have to hit a wall first. Most likely it doesn't count if it bounces off of like a tree or like a, a like one of the explosive barrels, like anything else, it has to bounce off of a, a wall. So, um, and yeah, so the, the bouncer is a 50, 50 kills and the long shot is a hundred kills. So, um, something to go over as far as the long shot, this should be long enough. Uh, at first I was thinking that maybe it would have to be when they can't see you. So like they would have to be far away. And, and so this right here, this little star here is your player spawn. You'd have to be far enough away for the soldier not to be able to see you. So there would not be an, um, what is it? It's, it's called uh, aggroing. When you aggro an enemy, um, man, I haven't thought of that word since like World of Warcraft, but when you aggro an enemy, um, you can be within range of its like aggressive, like, um, like radius. Uh, if you're outside of that and then you get a kill, maybe that counts as a long range uh, kill. 
But realistically, as long as you create a box like this and you shoot, like you bash through the wall and then just shoot, hopefully it will uh, get the actual length. It doesn't seem like there's a, a certain length to get the long shot. Um, and once you start playing through like the levels, you'll start noticing that it's really difficult in the actual story mode, which if we go, like if we exit back and you go into this, like if you go um, to like any of these maps, like especially like when you go up to like level 60, or this is the actual campaign right here, the single player campaign I'm talking about. If you go to any of the maps, um, once you start getting to like double helicopters, it becomes literally impossible to get like to survive for very long. I mean, it, obviously, if you're a better player than, than I am, of course, then you've gotten past that. But um, the long shot, I think, is really difficult to get into single player mode. So um, we've gone over all of that. Um, the map that I showed you, um, even though I didn't save it, I can actually show you in the single player. I can go to my maps, and this is just essentially the same thing, and I'll play it right here. And this should be um, the one that I have screenshots for. And you can see that I have the, the bouncer shot right there. I'll blast through this. I have a bunch of other like bonuses and whatnot. And then I can just bounce my shots, and my ricocheted shots should start killing people. That's how you get the bouncer achievement. You just continue bouncing shots, and they'll mow people down. And as long as it ricochets once, you'll get it. And like long range, um, it's really difficult to like, there we go, back and exit current game, go back into single player, go back to my maps. Um, yeah, and then you'll play again. And then you want to go forward. Um, I wish there was kind of controller support for this, or at least better controller support than I have. Um, and then if you just start firing, as long as you get long range, and like there is, there does seem to be a, a slight, um, like wherever you see your laser sight, like go, like that's not the end of work because it, it goes the entire way through. So exactly what it considers to be long range, it's not the end of your laser sight. This is a, clearly is not an actual pause. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, um, that's... Um, there's no end to your actual like laser sight. So whatever is considered to be long range seems to be a bit questionable, but um, it definitely seems really hard to get during the actual like playthrough of the, of the actual game, uh, the actual levels, the actual single, single player levels. So um, that map design was created uh, by a comment of another player that I've coordinated with before, uh, collaborated with before, um, for the Blue Rose Guide, the visual novel Blue Rose, um, they were able to reach out to the developer and get all the achievements like reinstated for the um, the remastered edition of Blue Rose. So um, the player is named Nix or Nixie, and uh, they made a comment about how to create a map like that, and then just shoot, and it really kind of nullifies any problems you should have with the long the long shot achievement, uh, getting a hundred long range kills, and the bouncer achievement. Um, getting 50 bounced kills. So if you are having trouble with that, I know this video is probably a little longer than it needs to be. And it's a little more casual than my other videos. Um, but I really kind of wanted to just go everything over everything as technically like true as I possibly could and, and try not to waste too much of your time. Um, hopefully I, I know my, my thoughts weren't entirely like fully structured in this, but I wanted to um, just go over it as best as I could. Um, that that would clarify some people's issue. I feel bad because some people have apparently played for like four or five hours and not gotten a hundred a hundred percent for the game, and it seems like it's really a lot of problems with how the achievements track. Now, another player suggested in the discussion board. I didn't reach out to them, so I'm not going to name them. Um, another person did mention that the possibility of the what counts for every achievement may accidentally be implemented incorrectly. Now, obviously, I'm not blaming the developer for this because I don't know how achievements are implemented. Um, I, I don't know how difficult it is, but it could very well be that one of the achievements tracks for a different achievement and the names are just mixed up. Um, that's a possibility. It could just be that because the commander achievement is 100 kills no matter what, and if you're doing... A long shot and then you also if you if you get a shot bounced and that shot goes long range it's not just counting for the bouncer achievement and the long shot achievement but also the commander achievement now I don't know if that's possible because I don't know if the achievements were implemented in a way where they could fully overlap that much but if it's if it's possible like that 
if that is implemented in there, it could just be that because something is tracking for the achievement, the, the achievements may at some point just the numbers might get too high and it doesn't know how to track anymore. So that could be one of the reasons. It could be that when you get a ricocheted shot, it could hit an enemy and then your bonus goes away for the, um, the, the bounce ability and you completely like lose out on the bonus and you don't actually kill the enemy. You've just damaged it with a bounce shot. Um, I'm so sorry that nothing's happening on screen right now. I feel really bad, but uh, I just wanted to go into that. Uh, One thing also about the level editor is that when you're putting down um, anything like this right here is your bounce bonus. It's going to look like um, bouncing shells. That's what you'll put down. If you're putting down ammunition, this is your ammo bullets. These are your rockets here. This is your rapid fire bonus. The rapid fire bonus is whenever you start shooting in any level, um, you will get like a a rapid fire. Obviously, that's why, why it's called rapid fire. Um, you can preserve that by getting, by picking up the rapid fire bonus again and again and again. Um, and then like, this is more rockets, of course. So, and health packs, of course. So, um, and then you can just start putting down soldiers. Um, you can put down whatever soldiers you want to. Obviously there's different soldiers with different ammunition. So obviously you have to prepare for like whatever type of challenge you've put your, put into, um, into the map. There's also like, uh, turrets and, um, these tanks right here. Uh, I don't know if there's helicopters. There's probably helicopters, although I don't see. Is that the helicopter? That's the gunship. Oh, it's called a gunship. Okay, it's called the gunship. All right. Um, yeah. So that's uh, that's everything. Uh, I'm really hoping that this uh, that this video helps you out. I feel really bad that there's a bunch of people having problems with the uh, the achievements. So um, the guide should be up. Uh, I think I'm going to uh, make sure that this video is good. I've been having some audio issues with the recording, so hopefully this video is good. I'm going to get it up as quickly as I can. Um, I know I'm bringing out some other videos and some other guides, so hopefully this will um, uh, help some people as quickly as possible, especially going into the um, a couple holidays coming up. So hopefully if people have this on their list for 100%ing or, or you know, uh, tackling um, before the end of the year, hopefully this guide will help you. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. A huge thank you to Nix or Nixie, um, however, whatever name they prefer. And, um, you know, because obviously this guide wouldn't be possible and some other things wouldn't be possible without without them. Thank you so much as the audience members watching this and taking note of the guide on Steam. Uh, again, I hope this helps you. And uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next guide, video, or walkthrough. Take care.